Hey guys, it's Rita. I'm back with week three of the patriotic decor and I'll be making a wreath for you today. I um, haven't made one like this. I believe it's called a puff wreath. So you'll be learning along with me today if you don't already know how to do it. Um, I did lose some footage so I'm going to begin by showing you how I began the wreath with another wreath form and uh, some more of the mesh, just to show you how I started the wreath and then it will go into the actual wreath that I made. So I hope you're enjoying this series and if you don't mind, comment below and let me know what you think about me doing a series of like four to six weeks on certain themes. I just wanna know if you guys like that or if you'd prefer just, you know, DIYs two or three times a week, regardless of what theme it is. But um, I do appreciate you guys, and we'll get right into the DIY. Okay, so as promised, I wanted to show you how I started the wreath. And I'm sorry, but I don't have any more mesh. I thought I did. But pretend this is a big thing of mesh. Here's your wreath form. So, of course, it's going to be longer. And you just start by gathering it like this. Okay, and you'll have this, and you'll push it through right here. We'll pretend this is a zip tie, and you're gonna wanna be over by one of these bars, and you'll put your zip tie under the bar, and then bring it back over on the other side, okay? And I can't bend this, of course. But if you bring it back through on the other side of that bar, I'm gonna try to pull it through here. And then you would zip tie it together, okay? And when you end your wreath at the other end, you'll do the exact same thing with another zip tie. So I hope that explains it. Gather your mesh up. Pull this chunk through, take your zip tie, find your bar right here, run it under and on the other side of the bar, and zip tie. So there's that. We'll get on with the real video now. So today I'll be using 21 inch mesh, some Chanel stems, zip ties, and my wreath form. And I do apologize for losing all of that footage, but I'm using my cutting mat. And what I'm doing is I'm pulling 10 inches out, and then you just push it up, make a puff, and you'll take one of your Chanel stems and run it down and over, and then twist it together in the back. And you can get about four to six puffs between each of the crossbars. I used the entire roll of mesh and I almost ran out. I kind of had to push it together, but it turned out okay. But I would recommend not doing more than five puffs between each bar if you have this size roll of mesh. Thank you. 
And as you can see here, I'm at the end of my roll. I was really, really nervous. I didn't think I was gonna have enough to make it work, but it did work out. So you know this was my first puff wreath and I think it turned out really really pretty. It's very full and I just think it's gorgeous. Now I'm at the end on my last one and I'm just taking that zip tie and tying that last piece off between the crossbars. And now you'll just fluff it up and you're pretty much done except for decorating if you want to put anything on it. The uh, Chanel stems in the back, you can cut those if you'd like. I didn't. I just pushed them through the bars. You can't see them from the other side. And here's what we have so far. Okay, so I've experimented with several different decor items to go on the wreath. And I think I'm going to go with these. They're not Dollar Tree, but they are Walmart. Um, they come like this, and they're actually together. There was some floral tape wrapped around the bottom here and I've taken that off so I could have separate. And I'm not going to hot glue or anything because I want to be able to take them off if I want to. So I'm going to measure, put them in there, see what I need to do, and cut them down and then just put them through and twist them around the wreath form in the back. I'm bringing it under the, um, in between here, on the top side, I'm bringing it under this and twisting. And I hope that will secure it, but if you do this, do not cut them down because that didn't work out real well. I think that will work, yeah. So yeah, that will work if you can get it in there and on the top part, bring it through one of these and just twist it around and that will hold it. Okay, let me lay these out, see where I want them. There, there. Let's see if I can get this up here. So you see this, the red um, fuzzy stick, Chanel sticks, whatever they're called. That's what I'm going under inside here. And then just kind of twisting it. So yeah, that works. All right, be right back. All right, guys, here it is. Um, my lighting's not really great in here, but I believe you can see it well enough. I think this turned out really pretty. I love the sparkly, it looks like 4th of July. You could use this for Memorial Day, Labor Day, but it's definitely screaming 4th of July to me. 
It wasn't hard to make at all, guys, and I do hope you enjoyed this video. We have three more weeks of patriotic decor, and also I'm doing a nautical theme series. I'm only gonna do four weeks of it. The first video went up on Friday, May 31st, and I will have a playlist for those as well. So check it out. Thank you so much guys for watching today. Thanks to all my subscribers. You mean so much to me. And if you haven't subscribed, I'd love to have you join my family. Please hit the like button if you like the video today. It does help my channel grow. And as always guys, like, share, and comment. Thank you so much and I will see you in the next video.